Hey, what's cracking? Hello there guys Franklin and Quinn, welcome dog. back to another GTA video here on the channel. Let's get straight into today's video. So as you guys know, Rockstar Games announced a brand new GTA Online DLC the other day, called The Contract. It is set to come out on December 15th. So we just got some new information about the update. Dr. Dre just released this brand new clip from GTA Online The Contract DLC. It looks absolutely fantastic, and it gets me so excited. Go check out Dr. Dre's latest post on Instagram, and listen to this brilliant new track coming exclusively through GTA Online this December 15th. The name of the new track is ETA, featuring Snoop Dogg, Busta Rhymes, and Anderson Pock. This sounds so freaking dope. Dr. Dre is still the god of beats. Go check it out. God's out in Panama. Ooh, hey! hey. <laughs> that shit slap, bro. Yeah. Bring that back. Let's see that. Take a look at this tweet by a trustworthy data miner at TezFunds2 on Twitter. Info from Allocator regarding GTA Online's new update. The new garage space has 20 slots. New vehicle workshop as an upgrade to the agency, separate from the armory. So it looks like we're going to be able to customize the agency to our liking just like with previous properties. The agency is going to be the place where Franklin, Lamar, Dre, and the others hang out. This is the place where you'll be able to start your missions. The question is, is the agency going to be a profitable business? How much money are you actually going to be able to make from this agency? My guess is that you won't be able to make money in the form of passive income, rather through the new missions, catering to the rich people, and solving their rich folk problems. My guess is that they are going to be similar to the contracts from the Los Santos Tuners DLC update, in terms of payout, but I hope I'm wrong and Rockstar actually let fans make a bit more money from these missions because that was one of the downsides of the contracts. Players got bored pretty quickly with the contracts, and I hope that these new missions bring something fresh to the table. So Dr. Dre is going to play a major role in this update when it comes to the story, and also when it comes to the payout. It looks like Dr. Dre is going to be the one who is gonna expand our business and make us the most amount of money. Maybe when we retrieve his phone he agrees to record new music in the studio that we have in the agency. That would actually be pretty sick. When it comes to the customization of the agency, you can expect different locations with different price tags, you can expect wallpaper customizations, lighting customizations, it looks like you'll be able to put art inside the agency, just like the Diamond Casino and Resort, and it also looks like you'll be able to choose secretaries as an extra option. You'll also have the option to put a garage, just like how it worked with the CEO offices, a vehicle workshop, and a weapon armory. By the way, the Game Awards happened and Rockstar did not announce anything. A lot of people were speculating that maybe this is the time that Rockstar will announce GTA 6, but no. I guess we kind of knew it wouldn't happen. By the way, I want to comment on The Matrix Awakens, I don't know if you guys played the demo, but this is absolutely mind-blowing. I can't believe that we've reached a point where games can look this close to real life. I would love to see how games like GTA 6 will look. Is Rockstar ahead of the competition? Will they be able to create an open-world experience that blows people's minds, like this Matrix Awakens demo? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. If you are new to the channel, I would appreciate it if you clicked the subscribe button for more videos just like this one, and also click the thumbs up button if you enjoy the content. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys later.